Good morning, this is Dwayne again with some more good stuff that you really ought to know. Here's an idea that you can use uh, not only at the end of songs, but at the at the uh, end of a phrase or a cadence. Uh, the idea is, is to uh, throw a curveball so that people aren't exactly sure what's coming. Uh, let's just think about endings for a second and then we'll apply them to uh, to the end of phrases or cadences. You know how songs end, they typically go... What do you expect? You expect that, of course, right? But what if instead you get this? Or this? Or this? Those are called deceptive cadences or false endings, okay? And through the uh, the careful use of some chord substitutions, you can make the listener think that you're changing keys or going in some some direction other than the expected direction of what they expect, okay, the normal chord resolution. Now here's the formula for that. Whatever note you end on, say that you're gonna end on C, and the chord is C. Well, C is in the C chord, okay, but C is also in a bunch of other chords, so, what you want to do is end on a chord that is not C, but that the, but that the C note is in. Is C in the F chord? Yes. Yeah, so could you end on F and then go to C? Sure could. Listen. That's called a plagal cadence or an amen cadence because it's four. It's a four chord F down to one. Okay. And that's a, that's a real simple one, but that's very doable. Uh, is C in the F minor chord or F minor seventh chord? Sure it is. There I went to F minor seventh, then went around the horn to B flat seventh. By that I mean around the circle of force to B flat. And then B flat's a whole step below C, so I just resolved up to C, okay? Another solution is to try the flat six chord and then resolve that to the one chord. In other words, if you end in C, C is also in the A flat chord, isn't it? It's the third of the A flat chord. So instead of playing C right away, go to A flat first. And then home to C. Or you can go up by whole steps. A flat, B flat, C. Or you can go around the horn from A flat to D flat and then home to C, okay? So there's a whole bunch of possibilities, and again, the formula is just this. You ask yourself into what other chord this melody note will fit. By this melody note, I mean whatever the last note of the song is, or the cadence. Now, do we have to use it? <clears throat> do you have to use this idea at the, uh, at the end of a song? No, we could use it at the end of a phrase. Uh, let me just think of an example here. Okay, okay, let's say we're playing my open talk came home. Now we're coming to the end of the phrase, and you expect that. Okay, it goes from, in, in the key of C, it would go from C to D7 to G7, and that's the, that's the end, that's the cadence. Then the next phrase goes back to C and so on, okay? So this time, instead of ending on, see the melody note is D, but the chord is G. So I ask myself, into what other melody note, in, into what other chord does D fit? And one solution is D minor seventh. One solution is B flat. It's the third of the B flat chord. Uh, okay, so that's probably enough. Let, let's just go with B flat and see how that sounds. Okay, so I'll start again. I went to B flat first and then resolved to G7, the chord that I was originally going to. Okay. Now a smoother way to do that is to go to B flat and then go down a half step or a whole step to A flat and then because that's a half step above G7, isn't it? So I could I could just do a half step slide from B flat to A flat to G7. I'll I'll do it again. Say 
that, that worked fine. Use it again at the end of that cadence. Instead of landing on C, I landed on A flat, went to B flat, and up to C, like we discussed earlier. Well, I think you get the idea, but I uh, encourage you to experiment with, with uh, this idea and see what you can come up with. Uh, everyone comes up with different things, by the way. Uh, when I teach 100 people how to do something like this, we have 100 different solutions, and uh, invariably somebody does something that really uh, surprises me and that I hadn't thought of before. So uh, go to it and come up with your own uh, variations on this. So thanks again, and this is just another one of the many, many good stuffs that you really ought to know about music. Bye-bye for now.